Hi, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about ankle instability and what might be the differences between people that cope after lateral ankle sprain and the group of people that don't cope post ankle sprain. But non-copers seem to fall over on uneven surfaces and have more trouble with dynamic issues when they're undergoing movement. So an RCT has been performed examining this question. They had three, three groups, a group of copers, a group of non-copers, and a group of controls that had never had a previous injury. All of the post, both post ankle sprain groups had their injuries some six to 12 months earlier, and the copers had been re-spraining, had done so at least twice, and the copers had had 12 months of good recovery, returning to high levels of physical function. The task was to hop 70 centimetres and land on a force, force platform that measured stability, medialateral, anteroposterior and height. They then subjected these volunteers to wearing a vision impairment system called stroboscopic glasses, which meant they couldn't use their gaze anymore to manage postural control. There was a very significant difference between the non-copers and the copers and the normal group. The non-copers really found that once their vision was impaired, they really couldn't maintain postural stability anymore. It's interesting that the copers and the normals had much the same result as each other. There was no significant difference between the two groups. So this suggests that the copers managed to adapt their somatosensory system in a positive way to the ankle sprain and the non-copers have undergone sensory re-weighting which means they rely on their vision now rather than the appropriate somatosensory and vestibular inputs to maintain their balance dynamically. This could also prove very helpful in rehabilitation for non-copers and for any posterior post-ankle sprain injury. Thank you for your time.